And in another story, many doctors now use genetic science to diagnose and treat their patients. Sometimes DNA can predict a child's risk for disease before it's born or even conceived. I interviewed one of the pioneers of reproductive genetics for this Sunday's 60 Minutes. He showed me how genetic screening is helping them stop breast cancer and other diseases in their tracks. Dr. Mark Hughes is one of the scientists leading the way in a rapidly growing field known as reproductive genetics. He pioneered a technique called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, or PGD. This one's got a minus two. An embryo screening procedure that can identify deadly gene mutations and alter a child's genetic destiny. We all throw genetic dice when we have children, but when you know the dice are loaded and that there's a really reasonable chance that your baby will have an incurable, dreadful condition, um, you're looking for an alternative. Dr. Hughes helped develop PGD two decades ago to screen embryos for one disease, cystic fibrosis. Today, because of advances in the mapping of the human genome, he says it can be used to root out virtually any disease caused by a single defective gene. Let me do a rapid fire yes or no. Can you use PGD for Tay-Sachs? Yes. Muscular dystrophy? Yes. Sickle cell anemia? Yes. Hemophilia? Yes. Huntington's disease? It's one of the most common disorders we test for, yes. Alzheimer's disease? If it's a mutation in a particular gene that causes early onset, uh, we can test for it. Yes. So you can test for Alzheimer's? This is a small subset of a particular kind of Alzheimer's that attacks very early in life. Colon cancer? If we know which of the colon cancer genes, yes. Breast cancer? We do it regularly. This is really exciting stuff. I mean, this is, this is a, something I've been working on for a year because the science is difficult to explain. But the idea that we know these diseases, if they're single gene mutations and they've stalked your family for generations, something like Huntington's disease or early onset Alzheimer's, you can use this science when you're having a child to prevent that from being passed on in the future. It's controversial. But it's really interesting. Extraordinary. It's amazing. Yeah, amazing. I can't wait to see that. Thanks, yeah. Nora. Yeah, so you can see more of the interview and exactly how this genetic sequencing is able to screen for those complex diseases. That's this Sunday night on 60 Minutes.